As you know, EDA Playground focuses on HDL design and verification, and that means running EDA tools such as simulators or synthesis tools. However, there's another area that's very important for today's design and verification engineers, and that is scripting, which means using scripting languages like Perl, Python, or even shell scripts like C Shell. So today I'm going to demonstrate um, how to use these scripts on EDA Playground and how you can use EDA Playground to play around with those scripts uh, and maybe learn a thing or two. Uh, so first of all, this is how EDA Playground comes up by default and you can select these languages up here on the top where it says uh, in the languages and libraries. You've got Python, uh, Perl and C Shell over here. So let's go to a Perl example. So in this Perl example I've selected Perl and um, the tool and simulator must be Perl and then um, in this simple example we've got a Perl module over here on the right and this Perl module just has a subroutine here that prints color world and um, this Perl module because it's design.pm gets pulled in into this file over here on the left and the file that gets executed is actually this headsbench.pl file uh, so the way it works is you basically code your Perl over here on the left and then if you want to add additional files or pull, pull in you know, design.pm on the right, uh, you may do so. Um, so this is a simple Hello World Perl example. As you can see, it's running right here. Let's go to, on to Python. So Python, uh, there's other tools here on the EDA Playground that use Python, such as MyHDL and MyGen uh, methodologies. So if you go by default and you select Python only, by default you'll have uh, you know, MyHDL selected. Um, which is going to import the MyHDL library over here. However, you don't need to necessarily uh, use MyHDL if you're just playing around with Python. Uh, so in this example, I don't actually include MyHDL here. And in this simple example, uh, just like the previous one, in, except instead of a module here, we have a class. And this class gets initialized with a message, and then it has a display method that just prints this message. Um, and uh, the way in Python it gets pulled in is is this way from design import pulls in this uh, design pi over here and similar to Perl um, this testbench pi file on the left here gets executed and then you can add in or pull in additional files as needed uh, so as you see over here I basically uh, create the class my test and then call the display method which displays uh, this message string just for demonstration purposes, let's run it and we see hello world over here. All right, lastly, C Shell. Uh, so, so EDA Playground has C Shell capabilities, and you select it by C Shell over here. And this is just a simple example, uh, just in, as in the simple, uh, just as in uh, Perl and Python examples, what gets executed is the left pane over here, and then um, the other pane, uh, it just it's optional, you don't need to use it. In this example I do use it, so in this example I read in um, the file here on the right, and in this case it's called design.txt, you can see up here, and then just uh, print each line of the file um, to, to the output. And if I run this here, it's going to be pretty straightforward, it just prints whatever is in this file, including hello world. Thanks everyone.